Now, how ridiculous. We're the only country in the world where a person comes in, has a baby, and the baby is essentially a citizen of the United States for 85 years with all of those benefits. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And it has to end. It was that interview with Axios on HBO that has President Trump in the middle of another controversy. Through an executive order, he wants to do away with birthright citizenship, the constitutional right to citizenship for babies born on U.S. soil to parents who aren't citizens themselves. His stance is attracting a lot of criticism. You don't make progress in our country by going back to the middle of the 19th century. And the fact is, the president cannot amend the Constitution through an executive order. Even members of the president's own party are questioning his ability to make the change with an executive order. Well, you obviously cannot do that. Uh, you cannot end birthright citizenship with an executive order. Portlander Gerald Exley is paying close attention to what's happening with immigration in the U.S. It's a tough, really tough situation. He Just also doubts the like president can change the Constitution by himself. Well, I don't see how he can change that, but I think the uh, House and Senate can change that, and I'm all for it. Critics contend the 14th Amendment is clear in its meaning. It says all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. So you may have heard the president say the U.S. is the only country where you're automatically a citizen if you're born here. That's not true. A study out of the Center for Immigration Studies found 30 countries around the world grant automatic citizenship to children born to undocumented immigrants. The list includes Canada, Brazil and Mexico. Back to you. Thank you, Christine. A lot of our viewers are talking about this story on our Facebook page. For instance, Cherie supports the president, saying at least he's trying to address a problem. The handout can't go on forever. Rhonda says she's against the idea. She says four of Trump's children were born to immigrants who, at the time of their birth, did not have American citizenship. She adds Trump isn't thinking.